I saw you standing there on the side of the wall, your eight eyes and microscopically hairy legs, beautiful, daunting Eastern European spider taking your place above my pillow. Strange sea creatures in old bottles on shelves, bones and fossils and dissertations in the dusty science library of Karlovy University. I looked you up in a library book. And this is how I know spiders have as many eyes as legs. And this is how I learned you were a common Middle European spider. Large, but not poisonous. I didn't mind you there, standing around sideways, shifting from leg to leg to leg. And I gave you a good Czech name, Lenka. But one day I gently put you in a whiskey glass and carried you away from my bed to another spot in our strange home next to the residence of Jan Votipka, the geology professor at the university who had resourcefully rented me a small room in the bathhouse he built on his property. When the crows come from Russia, the snow will fall, Jan Votipka would say, raking some leaves in the yard. Czech proverbs were the only conversation he offered when I would pass by on my way to the bathhouse, where I would read and roll cigarettes and listen to the BBC and snoop around to see if you had adjusted to your new spot away from my bed. And when one day you thought it was smart to build a web over the bathtub drain, I had an idea that Mrs. Votipka would come along and wash it away. But how exactly could I warn you? And when one day I came home to see no sign of your elegant stance, no single strand of your silky home across the drain remaining, I racked myself with guilt. Did she wash you away, or did you somehow escape, hiding out on some secret spider ledge inside the drain? I wish I had just gotten used to you in your chosen spot above the bed, shifting there on the side of the wall, from leg to leg to leg to leg. And this was not my only regret the year I lived in the bathhouse in Prague. 